My name is Rob Miller. Today we're going to cover surfaces, arguably one of the best features of Trimble FieldLink. Trimble offers a unique workflow for verifying the flatness of a slab or the camber of a deck and reacting to out of tolerance conditions all while in the field. The surfaces module is made up of four components, creating a surface, measuring the surface, analyzing the results, and laying out the high and low area boundaries. Let's take a look at the Surfaces module. To start, you will create a new surface in the Surface Manager. Each surface is defined by a unique name and a boundary. You can also see how much of the surface has been measured in this view. The surface should be named so that it can easily be distinguished from other surfaces on the project. Trimble FieldLink draws a default surface boundary when you enter this view. It is a good idea to zoom into the area where the surface will be located and press the reset button. This resets the default surface boundary to this new view. To edit the surface boundary, simply tap and drag a vertex. Boundaries are not limited to four vertices and do not have to be rectangular. To add a new vertex, tap on the line and begin dragging. If you need to delete one of the vertices, just drag it on top of another and let go. With the surface boundary created, the next step is to define the grid and measure the floor at these locations. The grid can be defined by the spacing between each point or by the total number of points to be included. When you change one of these fields, Trimble Field Link will automatically update the other. Keep in mind that having less points will be quicker to measure, but you might not have enough density to get an accurate representation of the resulting contours. If you are unsure of the spacing you should use, Start with a smaller number of points over a large area to identify the problem. Then, you can create a smaller surface with points closer together for a more complete picture. From the Measure tab, we can navigate to and measure the floor. Navigating to these positions will look almost identical to laying out points. When you get to the spot, press the Measure button to record the elevation at that location. You may also choose to select automatic and have the instrument measure each of these locations reflectorlessly. Keep in mind that you will need to have a clear line of sight between the instrument and the floor in order to use this feature. If any locations are unable to be measured, they will be skipped. You can go back and measure these points from a different instrument setup location later. Once you have measured the surface, use the surface report to analyze the results. In the report, you can set the reference elevation for the surface along with the tolerance. Trimble Field Link will generate a contour map of the surface based on the variables you enter. You can change these variables and preview the results before saving the report. When you save the report, a PDF is generated and stored in the Documents folder on the tablet. This report contains information about the points measured, the resulting contours, and the total areas and volumes. In addition, an image of the contour map is included. This report can be uploaded to a project management tool such as Prolog or emailed to engineering and the project manager for review. With an accurate picture of the situation, you can now lay out and mark the high and low areas. With the surface boundary selected, pick the contour you want to lay out. Just like laying out points, Trimble Field Link will guide you to the points along the contour boundary. You can lay these points out manually with a rod and prism or you can choose to use visual layout, which is faster and easier. If you have a depression in the slab that needs to be filled, you can now draw the boundary of that area on the slab and know exactly how much leveling compound is needed. The Surfaces module is a specialized end-to-end -end workflow designed for a specific task and is therefore not a standard feature in Trimble FieldLink. If you're interested in adding the Surfaces module to your Trimble FieldLink tablet, or to just learn more about this and other features of Trimble FieldLink, contact your Building Point Field Solutions Specialist. From everyone here at Building Point, thank you for joining us. <laughs>